Evening all. Evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night is Organ Music Tonight. <sighs> and it's Good Friday. And some of you will undoubtedly have been out at church today at Good Friday services. Now, um, there have been a lot of requests for Easter tunes. Now, it's not Easter until Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. And as a good, proper church musician, I won't be playing proper easter -y, happy Easter stuff, until Sunday. Okay? So you have to join me on Sunday night for all of that. However, we do have other requests. And, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are celebrating the first birthday of my baby daughter. Our little bundle of joy. Now, for uh, a lot of people have been getting in touch and saying, oh, we don't get to see your baby daughter. I said, yes, that's true, because children have no place on the internet. Um, so um, there will be no pictures of my little baby daughter. Um, if we're very lucky, they might come and visit us again. Um, on Wednesday, when it was Vanessa's birthday, they came upstairs and Vanessa held her hand in front of the camera which she didn't like very much, and then she had a little bit of a scream. Not Vanessa, the little one. Had a bit of a screaming fit and then disappeared. <laughs> so, uh, you never know, tonight might be the night. We were over at Vanessa's parents today, um, having a birthday celebration for the little one, and she was overwhelmed by the whole thing. There was too many people, too many things going on, too many things to look at, too many lights, balloons, all sorts of things. It's her first birthday. We can't overdo it, can we? But we did. Um, so she basically slept through most of it. So while I was playing that first hymn, downstairs, we only got back in about 10 minutes before the concert started. Um, but when we came back in, I already heard them downstairs banging on our little musical instruments that we have downstairs. So sounds like she's in better form. So they might hopefully come and visit us at some point during this evening's celebration. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have some birthday music for my baby daughter. I think we should start off by singing happy birthday for her. Now, her name is Bundle of Joy. I'm not telling you her real name. Because, like I say, um, children have no place in, on, or at the internet, whichever preposition you would like to use there. Um, that's just our view. Other people do it differently, and that's up to them. But a little bit of privacy is definitely not a bad thing in this day and age. You never know who's out there. Um, so we're going to leave it. But you can sing Happy Birthday, Bundle of Joy. You see, that fits perfectly, doesn't it? So you can do that. Right, let's sing along, ladies and gentlemen, and then we'll get on with some Eastery music. And then second half, we're going to have some fun and games with some copyright Disney music, because that's been requested by my little daughter's mother. In other words, Vanessa. She's requested a little bit of Disney stuff, so we can have fun with that. Any Disney requests? You know where to send them. Happy birthday to the little one. There we go. 
That was fun. Now we're back on the organ of Ulm. We have not been at this magnificent Ulm organ for a long time. Built by organ builders Link, as in L-I-N-K, Link. And what the earth is going on down there? There's some hammering going on down there. And um, and then done up, done up in recent times by another crazy organ builder called Gaida, G-A-I-D-A, -A, Gaida. And they just extended the whole thing and made it bigger and more voluminous and more wonderful. And it was beautifully, absolutely beautifully sampled here by Reiner at Pipe Loops for Hauptwerk. It's a wonderful sounding sample set and it's got one of the best sounds of them all. Now I played a little bit of it to you at the beginning of the concert. Oh, by the way, before I forget, before I forget, click, click, oops, and click. Does that work? Did that work? It did! There, and that as well. There we are. Happy birthday to the bundle of joy today! Um, um, yeah, on Wednesday night, Wednesday night, um, we, we had a few tickets sold and it looks like we will be able to buy Vanessa a lovely little tree. Now, you know that Vanessa's into her gardening stuff and she loves, she loves things like citrus trees. Well, the other night, um, not the other night, sorry, um, over winter, we, all the trees, the citrus trees and the olive trees come into the garage over the winter, which means I can't put my car in the garage over the winter. All the trees live in there over the winter. And one of them didn't survive. It was a kaffir lime tree. You know those things, those crinkly Thailand, Thai, um, Thai lime sort of things. Wonderful, wonderful thing. And it didn't survive. And that was lovely because I loved those fruit. Uh, and we loved using the leaves for Thai cooking and things like that. It didn't work. It didn't go over the winter so for, for some reason. So we're going to buy a new kaffir lime. Is that what they're called? Kaffir lime. I think that's what they're called, isn't it? Kaffir lime trees. Yes, we're going to get another one of those. So it looks like we will be able to do that, which will be rather exciting. So thank you very much for that. And uh, yes, at the same time, at the same time, we are also going to we are also going to be very, very good parents <laughs> uh, and set up, set up something for the little one. Um, the little one is, um, we want to, you know, I'm a musician. I've never had money. I don't know what money is. I don't know how it works. I don't understand it. Um, and every time I seem to have it, people sort of seem to open their arms and say, oh, well, here's the bill you can pay. Um, that always seems to be the way things work in life. So I don't want that to happen to my baby daughter. So we're going to set up a little sort of um, savings account thing in the background like people used to do. Apparently people don't do that anymore for their children. Uh, in the good old days people would have a little savings account for the children and they would squirrel away something every month for the kids. Apparently people don't do that anymore. We spoke to folks at the bank not that long ago and they said oh hardly anybody does that now. Which amazed me. I thought this was still a thing. So we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to set up a little savings account for our little baby girl and we're going to squirrel away something every month for her, uh, which is going to be done. So, so that's going to be that. And um, yeah, that's our plan. That's our plan for that. So all good fun. All good fun indeed. Right now, on with the show. So it's Easter tide. It's not Easter tide. It's passion tide. And today is good Friday. Today is Good Friday and it always has been Good Friday, the Friday before Easter. And there are all sorts of wonderful, wonderful pieces of music that can be sung uh, on Good Friday. Now I myself would normally be going to church on Good Friday to play the organ. However, in the church I work at, which is a German Catholic church, the organ is silent on Good Friday. Nothing. No music, no noise, nothing. Um, there's no bells, there's none of that kind of thing. So all, all, this, all the happy sounding things at church are off. And last night, the Monday Thursday service, the organ plays up until the Gloria, uh, glory to God, it plays up until that point. And then the organ is switched off and all the rest of the music is just sung, a cappella. And it was my job as church musician to lead that singing. So I was punching the hymn numbers in, and this was the congregation knew what hymns were coming, and then I would start singing the first line of the hymn and everyone would hopefully join in. And that's what happens throughout the entire Good Friday service. Now I know in other parts of the world it's very different. You can have music, you can have everything, you can have 
St. John's Passion. Oh, hold on a minute. Yes, check out Jerry's channel later on this evening, Jerry Martin's channel. Jerry is going to be, in fact, I think they're probably already doing it. Is it, is it live already? I'm not sure. Gosh, I do apologize. Uh, but they're doing the St. John Passion from Bach. Oh my goodness me. Um, they're doing that today. And my God, that's a hell of a hell of an enormous work. Um, and when you consider, you know, we're talking a bunch of basically amateur musicians doing it. Very good amateur musicians nonetheless, but that's a big undertaking even for professionals. Um, so they're doing that today. So there are kinds of music that can be played during Good Friday. However, I particularly like our present Good Friday setup because it basically gives me the day off. <laughs> tomorrow, however, Easter Saturday, it's back to church in the evening, nine o'clock kickoff tomorrow night. And um, we will be having a wonderful big long service tomorrow with all the goodies. It starts in silence and then it starts with only singing. And then once the Gloria appears, after all the readings and the exultets and all those amazing things, then the Gloria appears. And after that, it's back to normal. The organ can play again. So I don't have to solo sing in front of the congregation. So that's all the fun and games. However, in the Anglican Church, there are some rather beautiful hymns for... Uh, Good Friday, and believe it or not, most of them are old, old, old German tunes. For example, this one, whoops, this one is from the 1600s. Its title is Stabat Mater, which of course we means, we all know how that translates, isn't it? Stabat Mater Dolorosa. Stood the mournful mother weeping. We know this. So, the stations of the cross. At the cross, her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping weeping. It's a very, very dour sounding sounding thing, which it has to be for Good Friday. And it sounds amazing on this organ. I tried it earlier. And if I get my fancy registration, the crazy one that we love, hold on, where is it? It's here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Click. There it is. This is over the top. Now, I say this is my crazy registration. This is This is the kind of registration that Virgil Fox would go for. Check this out.
Oh, isn't that a lovely registration? The lovely, lovely registration. Oh, thank you very much indeed. My little baby girl is here in the room with me and she's giving me, she's giving me an external drive, which means, which means I can add it to my other external drives, which are over here. Oh, I forgot to press record on the other one there. Hello. Now, I have to give Vanessa's here as well. Say hello, Vanessa. Hello. Say hello, little one. Say dada. Say dada, dada. That's her favorite word at the moment is dada, which is rather lovely, but she doesn't do anything on command. Of course not. How many children do things when you command them? None, absolutely none. But here they are, they're sitting beside me in the room here. That's really cute. Oh, I see. Oh, you can have all of them if you want. We were, when we had our little birthday party today, we took lots and lots of pictures, lots of lovely pictures. And um, we took lots of pictures with my phone and hardly any with Vanessa's phone. So Vanessa's stealing all the pictures from my phone at the moment. So that's uh, really rather cute. My goodness me, some people have been buying tickets already. Shall we have a look? You can say thank you. Little one, you can say thank you to all these lovely people. They're buying you a birthday present. She's looking at me with big blue eyes. She's got her little pacifier. But you, when I was little, they weren't called pacifiers. They were called dummies. But you're not allowed to call them dummies anymore because that sounds like something else. Anyway, that was the funny games. Now, early this morning, our friend Jerry was the first. Jerry, Jerry came up and sent a little something. Hold on, where is it? It's gone. It's disappeared. Well, Jerry sent something somewhere else in there. Stefan, our friend Stefan sent something. Thank you very much. A very little, uh, no, a very little, a very nice something there. Thank you very much indeed. Werner, our friend Werner, our friend Werner. Werner yes, Werner said something. Vanessa says, oh, Vanessa knew exactly who it was. Perfect. Who's this? Monica from Ohio. I don't think Vanessa knows Monica from Ohio yet. There you are. It's new. Who's this? Wolfgang. No, the other Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Wolfgang Ratzka, Wolfgang R. And oh my goodness, we've got some people here. Right, who's this? There's Jerry from this morning. That was Jerry from this morning. Alexander. Shall we say thank you, Alexander? Ah, thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Oh, that's very kind. Joe, thank you very much. William G. William. Thursday and Friday tickets. He said Thursday and Friday tickets? Let's say Wednesday and Friday tickets. Thank you very much, Mr. G. That's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Ian, Ian, Ian Lavery sent something as well. To be squirreled away for the bundle of joy. That's exactly what we're going to do. Everything will be squirreled away. Our friend Jörg from Switzerland as well. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have everybody there? I hope I've got everyone. Actually, I must say a very um, quick uh, thank you to John as well, who sent a late one for Vanessa the other day. So thank you very much, John. That was very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Now, have we got everyone? I think we've got everyone so far. I think we've got everyone. This is a lovely feeling, actually. I've got the whole family in the room beside me. That's cute. And she's, oh my God, she's teaching the little one to use the mobile phone. Is that a good idea? They're sending each other pictures. One day we will show you some pictures of our little daughter. We'll blank out her face, I suppose. We'll do it like that. Who dis? Gerald. Thank you, Gerald. That's very kind. Thank you very much, Gerald. Very kind indeed. Oh, and the Platts. Thank you very much to the Platts. Cam and Kristen. Oh, thank, you. thank you to the Platts. And Sally, of course. There you are, Vanessa. <laughs> not, forget, forget. not forgetting Sally. We mustn't forget Sally. Mustn't forget Sally. Right, on with the on with the show, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm not just I'm not just going to be playing um, Good Friday music tonight. We're going to be playing some other stuff. But there are some rather lovely old tunes. That's not the one I wanted. Um, that's not the one I wanted. That's certainly not the one I wanted. Where is the one I wanted? Hold on. Ah, it's so long since I've played these things. It's well over 25 years since I've played these things. Um, so, ah, there it is. There it is. Perfect. There it is. Now, we played this the other night. Uh, someone requested it the other night. And I played it for everyone. And I said, and I said in the chat, I said to all of you in the chat, I, I always associate the name of this tune with something else completely. And nobody answered. So I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play one or two verses. Well, let's say two or three verses of this. I'm not going to tell you what the tune's title is this day. I want you to go and work it out. The title of the hymn is When I Survey the Wondrous Cross 
on which the Prince of Glory died. Oh, a little one making funny noises. Hello. Hi. You're going to say something? What did I, what did I, oh, über, übersehen? Oh, Uza is asking, did I see the donations from Yellowbird and Jim? No, unfortunately, I didn't see the donations from them. Hold on, my chat is only showing me chat. Ah, there we are. Yellowbird, thank you very much indeed. That's very kind. Uh, oh, a, a, a donation via um, YouTube here. So Yellowbird, thank you very much indeed. With uh, oh, with a little cuddle, a little cuddle, look, a little cuddle emoji. Look, there, a little cuddle emoji. And also something from Jim. Let's have a look and see if we can find Jim's. There's Jim's. There's Jim's. Jim's came in early. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, boys. Thank you very much indeed. Sorry, yes, we didn't catch that at the time. I do apologize. Thank you. There she is. There she is. Oh, God, don't let her drop that, please. She's playing with Daddy's mobile phone. She already broke a plate today. Uh, yes. Oh, shall I take it back? I shall take it back. Uh, um. <laughs> My old telephone is almost dead anyway, so if she did drop it, it would be a good excuse to buy a new one. Who's that for? Okay. Oh, Van <laughs> Vanessa is sending Cam private message. Oh, hello. I'm being waved at by a little baby girl. Hi. Oh, God, she looks exhausted. Poor little thing. Mm -hmm. She's already wearing her little pink pajamas. Yes, we are those kinds of parents. She's a little girl, so she's wearing pink pajamas. We're very old-fashioned. Anyway, back to the music. When I survey the Wanderer's Cross, what's the tune associated to that? And what do I normally associate that title with? Answers on a postcard in the chat, please. I see no answers. I see no answers in the chat. I see someone wrote Emmanuel Gomenti. What a wonderful name, Emmanuel Gomenti. Oh, that's, I think that's one of the best names. 
That's a great name. That's up there with Jim Cascagnetti, that is. That's a wonderful name. He says the tune is called Rockingham. That is correct. The tune is called Rockingham, or as Joe says, Tockingham, for some reason. Anyone? Does nobody? Does that not ring a bell with anybody? Rockingham? No, does that not ring a bell with anybody? Let's say hello to the gang this evening. Vanessa, you can say hello to the gang as well. Uh, hello again. Vanessa, who's Vanessa writing to? Oh, Vanessa's sending pictures to my mother. Oh, yes, to, uh, did you send something to Cam as well? Yeah. Have you sent Urza something? <gasps> Vanessa would love to send Joe something, but she doesn't have Joe's number. Ooh. Ooh. There we are. Right, anyway, let's go back and see who's in the chit chat tonight. Let's start with my new friend, Emmanuel Gomenti. Emmanuel, where are you from with that wonderful name? Tell us. What a wonderful name. Jez is here. Jez, thank you for your email, your request. Uh, your Easter request will come on Sunday for reasons of, of Easterness. Um, and your other request will come later. Yeah, what a wonderful request. I'd forgotten all about them. A wonderful group indeed. More on that in a moment. Um, Jez. Jeff is also here. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing, Jeff? Wonderful. Uh, Phil, he is doing like seven things at once. Who is doing seven things at once? Gosh, that sounds difficult. Jez. Urza, Dr. Charles, Gerhard. Gerhard Flink, I believe today is also J.S. Bach's birthday. Not necessarily. It depends which calendar we follow. Anyway, Elam O'Renick. There you are. That's one of those up there names, isn't it? Xing Chang Shong is here. Phil is still here. <laughs> Robert Varner is here. Hi there. Marketa is here. Hello. It's called Big Friday. You call today Big Friday. Oh, that's weird. Yellowbird is here. That's exciting. Uh, R.W. I wonder who R.W. is. R.W. Wow. Hello, R.W. Gerald Long is here from Illinois. Gleiswander is here. Hi. I, ich habe deine E-Mail immer noch nicht bekommen, lieber Gleiswanderer. Um, hast du meine andere E-Mail-Adresse? Ich glaube schon. Schick's da hin. Uh, Gleiswanderer. Cam is here. Hi, Cam. Uh, Jeff is still here. Alexander is here. Stefan is here. Opus is here. Hello. Emmanuel Gomenti is still here. If you're not from Italy, you should be with a name like that. Uh, Don Prince is here from the Netherlands. Uh, Mike King is here. Julian GC is here from Shreveport, Louisiana. Brooks is here from Utah. Splendid. Phil S is here. Where's Phil? Uh, Phil S is asking, are we bringing her up bilingual or only German? No, no, bilingual, of course. Um, Chris Toff is here. Hello. The organ is too... Here we go. Another one. The organ is too quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of dynamic range. Anyway, let's leave it at that. Raz Buzz is here. Hi, Raz. <laughs> Yellow Bird is here. Mike King, Gerald Long. Ian Lavery is here. Hello. Talking about Catholics and Paisley Abbey. Gosh, all right, fair enough. Um, Monica is here. We know that. Uh, Adrian Morris is here. Hello, Adrian. Apparently, I was going to get an email from you as well. I still haven't, so we have to have a look there. John Drake is here. Happy birthday, bundle of joy. Thank you, John. Um, Emmanuel is saying St. Anne. I'm not sure what that's all about. Is that where you're from, St. Anne? Where is St. Anne, if, if that's what it was? Oh, no, no, no. Rockingham came after that. Uh, right. Moving down. Any new names here? Any new names? Elam is here. We know that. Splendid, 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 yes. Robert Barnum, anyone else, anyone else? Joe, of course Joe is here. Matt Leach is here, present. Hi, Matt. How are you doing? Robert Varner says, no, he's not here. Good, you are. Emmanuel Gomenti is from Nigeria. <gasps> wow, that's exciting. Ah, oh, hello Nigeria. Good evening to you. How are things in Nigeria? Wonderful. Mike King is here. We know that. David Ross is here from Ontario, Canada. Wonderful. Aaron Schaus is here. Hello California. Hello California. We can sing songs about that. Oh, I'm down at the bottom already. Almost. Let's see. Any new names before I get to the bottom? John Castle is here, and Tim is here. John is skulking. Don't skulk, John. Be in the open. Tell us all about yourself. Splendid. Anyone else in the chat? Um, say hi. We'll give you a mention. And while we're giving people a mention, here is an extra something from Jez for the little one. Thank you very much, Jez. Here is a little something from... Ah, from Raspas. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind. Thank you. 
And here's a little something from Opus as well. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much for birthday and weekend. Thank you very much indeed. Lots of generous people this uh, evening. Oh, this is so tired. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa said, the little one is so exhausted after her long day over at the in-laws today or at her grannies and granddads. Um, very exhausting day. She just, Vanessa's just got her sitting on her lap and she's She's got her little pacifier in there and she's just, she's just, although I think Vanessa's pretty exhausted as well. Vanessa's not looking very energetic. Vanessa is yawning even as we speak. Okay, there you are. That's it. It's been a long weekend and it hasn't even started yet. <laughs> right, Rockingham. Still nobody answered my Rockingham thing. Oh, really? I'm just going to leave it at that. That's what I associate with Rockingham. Yeah, that's coming later. We have to do Good Friday. We have to pretend to be serious in the Gartrow Gang. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have to pretend to be serious in the Gartrow Gang? Or can we just sod the serious stuff and get on, to, get on to fun stuff? I'm getting smiled at by a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, hi. Hi. Do you want to give a wave a little? Oh, I'm being pointed at. She's pointing at things now. She's at that stage where she points at things. Bist du sie mal hier? Guck mal, du siehst das im Bildschirm, wo sie ist. Bist du sie mal kurz rüberbringen, damit die Leute sie ein bisschen sehen können? An arm zum Beispiel? Vanessa's not listening. Vanessa's a million miles away. But come over here for a second. Stop, stop writing to all those people. God to heaven. She's, she's addicted. Hi. Hi, here, you must here him come, my here, but here. Yeah, that's Vanessa's hand, that's Vanessa. Look, look, look at the color of my hand, look at the color of Vanessa's hand. Looks like she's jaundiced. Anyway, and look at the size of her hand as well. I've got little hands, I've, I'm, I'm blessed with Donald Trump-sized hands. And Vanessa's blessed with huge build, yeah, builder's but hands. But <laughs> Vanessa says, because I've never done a hard day's work in my life, there we are. And then here, come and show me your baby hand. Here is a little baby hand. Are we going to get it? There it is. A little baby hand. A little. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting the face. I'm getting the face. I'm getting the no, no. bugger off face. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, you saw, you got a glimpse there of a small finger or two. Bye, so there you go. Bye bye. bye. Zach, bye bye. bye. Say bye bye. No, nope, she's, it's bugger off time. Oh, that's the end of that. She's not having any of that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's never work with animals or children is what they always say. Right, come on, let's, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's have just one, actually no, let's have one of these. I, I've deliberately chose one of these for tonight. This is rather lovely. Um, uh, let's have one of these. Oh, what's this? I'm missing something in the email department. Oh, what's happened here? Oh no, I already read that. That's, that's, oh, Jez sent me his message twice. All right, that's fine. And, there we are. and there's, here's, here's, ah, okay, thank you. Your, Gleiswanderer, your email has arrived. Complete with a piece of music by, ooh, I like that. Um, let's do that on Sunday. Perfect. Let's do that. Let me pop that over in there, but we'll do that on Sunday. Lovely. I like, oh God, it's tiny. I'll work that out. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's a cute request. There's a lovely request. Let's, ah, oh, here we go. This is more like it. Let's do that. I had, I had the feeling that this would come as well. Um, oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, good heavens. Gerald Long has requested some bizarre modern Disney. I thought you'd have been into the older Disney stuff, Gerald. And Joe has requested one of his favorite Bach numbers, which I, I do not like. Uh, but um, because it's Joe, I will dig it out. Come on, swine thing. It's me. There we are. <laughs> why, does, why do iPads not recognize you sometimes? And yes, don't say it's because of the headphones, because I did a second face with the headphones. So don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Look what I found. All right. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some bizarre requests here. 
So let's first, let's first of all, I, I know it's there, that's the important thing. Right, what's this? I don't know what this is. But we'll come to that in a moment. It's an A major, which is not a nice key. Uh, so anyway, let's, go, let's have this first of all. Number 62 in the Brown Book of Magic, Glücklich die Barmherzigen, um, which is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. So go and dig that out. Let us know what that's all about. Happy are the... You know what they are. But it's a lovely, lovely melody. I really rather like this melody. And I think it fits very nicely between the music of Good Friday, which we've been playing up to now, and Happier Times coming up later in the weekend. I think this is rather nice. See what you think. Isn't that a cute little piece of music? That almost sounds like a Disney number, doesn't it? 
Uh, it does. And that little bit at the end, you're only supposed to play that after the final verse. But I think it's so nice, you should play it all the time. It's just, it's very simple. I think that's just so cute. And if you play this right at the end, this is pure Disney. This is... What would have made that a tiny bit better if, if it went da ti 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 in the bass da ti ta ta and then it should do ta 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 and then ta ti ta ta that would have made it just that tiny tiny little bit better I think I shall recompose that isn't that cute though isn't that cute isn't that cute Ah, oh, so yes, the merciful. It's all about the merciful, isn't it? I rather like that. I rather like that. Oh, and our friend Gleiswanderer there just said the last bit should only be played after the last verse. Yes, I know that. I can read. Um, but but it just it sounds so nice after every verse. It sounds so nice. Yes, 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 yes. It, TB says it was delightful. Phil S says he loves a minor fourth. If you add the six as well, not just a minor, you have to add the six. You have to add the six to make it, you know, that just beautiful. Oh, fun. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's changed the tune. In fact, let's get rid of this grey thing as well. because that, we, can, we can get that back on Sunday, can't we? We'll do some happy Easter stuff on Sunday. Um, right, let's have a look at this before we get into the real world of Disney. This is a piece of music by someone called Karl Hoshna. H-O-S-C-H-N-A. Hoshna. I've never heard of Karl Hoshna. Uh, lyrics by Richard Karl. Karl, C-A-R-L-E. I have no idea who that is. Piece of music is from uh, nine. What? Nineteen eleven. It's from nineteen eleven. M C M X Y. Yeah, nineteen eleven. It's from nineteen eleven. I really don't know what this is, and it's rather cute. It's called "Little Girl, I Love You," which, when you're talking about your own baby daughter, is fine. But a 51-year-old man saying it to someone else is definitely not fine. Um, but anyway, that's a subject for a very different... Um, anyway, I'll ignore that. Ig ignore that. I didn't... I didn't... I should ignore that. But yes, anyway, it's... Um, it's... Oh my goodness, it's, in, it's one of my least favourite keys. Um, oh, shall I just transpose it down a semitone? Sometimes it's easier to take a piece of music because I, I don't like the I don't like the sharp major keys A major E major B major I just don't like them they, they, they just don't fit under my fingers for some reason and sometimes I find it easier rather than going to actually just read A flat which I think is much easier let's see if that's going to be uh, completely stupid to do that if I do that. Uh, I might actually be able to get away with that. Or shall we just sight read it in A major? All right, let's make it more difficult in A major, but I'll show you what I mean afterwards. Here we are in A major then. Hold on, click, click, click. Make sure we're not missing. Nope, not missing out on anything. Little girl, I love you.
yeah, much easier to play in A flat. Much easier. Um, I don't know what it is. There's just something about A major that just doesn't fit under the fingers. Yeah. But, but this. That just looks much easier. To, I mean, I'm reading all the wrong notes, but my fingers are playing a semitone lower than my eyes are reading. It's weird to think to be able to do that sort of thing, but it's a, I don't know, it's a technique that my brain allows me to do. What happens is, I'm, I'm if a, a flat major, it just feels right. Yeah, it feels right. Ah, oh, wonderful. A major, ah, it just doesn't, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I just don't like A major. A flat major, third. I'm oh, sorry. Even in third, it just feels right. A major. Um, that was actually better than the A flat. But it doesn't feel right, so I have to concentrate differently. Why should I concentrate when I can do things easily? Andrew Prince, thank you for the extra ticket. That's very, very, very kind. Thank you very much indeed. What's this? Adrian Morris, I've certainly never played a guitar. Well, I had... Uh, the worst key is B flat. Oh, no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Nothing wrong with B flat. B flat's a nice key. Uh, th third. I always, I always, um, hello. Oh, really? Had Joe gesagt? Joe, I love you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> All right, Joe says I'm not to play Bach, I'm to play something fun. Thank you, Joe. That's wonderful. Anyway, what are we talking about? Uh, the worst key is B flat. Yes, yeah, sorry, here. I always judge keys whether they're easy or difficult to play in. If you can play thirds, all right? And that, instead of just playing B flat major, okay, you play B flat and a third above it at the same time. And if that's easy to do, then that's an easy key for me to play. E flat's the easiest. E flat's the easiest one for that kind of thing. D flat <laughs> is my favorite key, but it's not very easy to do that. It's easy to do this though. <laughs> or that's easy. That's an old Art Tatum trick. Um, very difficult, but once you've practiced it, it's very easy. Um, <laughs> fun, 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 fun and games. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for no reason other than I want to, I'm going to change the organ. I'm not changing to theater organ land, not today. I am going to change to this organ. This is another of my favorite organs. Should it load quickly? It should. Mm. So we're going to go from South Germany. We're going to sort of head up northwest and head up to about an hour and a half away from here, where I am in this part of Germany, to a town called... <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I just got your email. Good job I read that. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that soon. How about that? La da di da da. Got to keep an eye on all these things. Are we loading here? Yes. Uh, Dusseldorf. We're off to Dusseldorf. One of my favourite organs, um, and one of the favourite organs of the Garchur Gang. It's a wonderful sounding organ, and I hope very soon to be able to go and visit the real organ in Dusseldorf in St. Lambertus. That's planned for the near future. And now that I'm armed with a, a wonderful arsenal of um, recording equipment, it would be great fun to go and record a marvelous instrument like that uh, with all its intricacies and goodies. So that's coming up very soon. Here it is. It's wonderful. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to take you on a little history trip to 1970s United Kingdom. The Beatles have just broken up. However, their production company, in other words, Apple Music, is still still on the go, but it's falling apart because everyone's arguing about who owns it. 
Um, and all sorts of legal battles are going absolutely mental and nobody really knows what to do. Now, under the auspices of Apple Music, several bands, several bands um, became rather famous. And one of them in particular, they'd actually been around since the, pretty much as long as the Beatles were around. Not quite, but almost. But they really became famous in the early 70s. And it's a band, actually a Welsh band, called Badfinger. Uh, a wonderful band. I, th I think, that, weren't they originally called the Ives? The Ivies? The Ives? The Ivies? Ooh, what, what, they were originally called something else, weren't they? The Ivies? The Ivies? Jez, were they originally the Ivies? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, the main man, Peter Ham was his name. Peter Ham, as in Ham, H-A-M. Peter Ham. Um, yeah, very, very talented. Very, very talented stuff. Now, Peter Ham was, was discovered, discovered by George Harrison. And um, George Harrison got them under the auspices of Apple Music. Everyone thinks it was Paul McCartney. That's not true. It was George. Um, and they put out various records that were actually produced by members of the Beatles. So Paul McCartney produced one of them. George produced a few of them. And this one I'm about to play, if my memory serves me correctly, and I know this because a certain person told me it, this one was actually produced by none other than the roadie of the Beatles, Mal. M-A-L, Malcolm, Mal. And he actually produced this one as far as I remember. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is correct. Yes, the Ivies. Thank you, Jez. Um, it was, wasn't it? The Ivies. And this is a wonderful piece of music. Um, um, this band, Bad Finger, they were very, 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 they had international hits. They weren't just sort of, you know, stuck in Wales. They had very international hits. They were very, very successful. Unfortunately, all the legal battles concerning Apple Music and things like that meant the band kind of sort of fell out with each other. Copyright, <laughs> copyright reasons came to light. Uh, people were arguing about who had the rights to which tunes. Um, Admittedly, a certain Mr. G. Harrison was also very, very particu particular about copyrights and rights. And although he only produced the tune, he, of course, wanted to have part of the rights to it. Peter wasn't very happy about that. And there was a, a lot of fighting ensued. Apple Music basically disbanded in... When did Apple Music disappear? The mid-70s, anyway. Because uh, they had so many legal battles between them. They were all suing each other for copyright and whatever else and producer rights and publishing rights. It was a mess, an absolute mess. And your man, Peter Ham, actually couldn't take the pressure of all of this and ended up committing suicide, which was very, very tragic indeed. But nonetheless, they came up with some wonderful, wonderful tunes. And Jez sent me this one, and it reminded me of all these things. I remember, well, I don't remember them. I was very young when they were around. But I remember friends of mine who were around in those days, telling me about the whole story about this wonderful band and how sadly, by the mid-70s, they'd, you know, they'd disappeared and kind of been forgotten about. They were definitely going places. And um, I rather like this one. This was a tune. This was, yeah, this was the one, I think, Jez, Jez, have you, uh, I don't know, Jez, go and research this, please, for me. I think this was the one that was uh, produced by Mal, I think. I think, I think, I may be wrong, but I think this was the one. And a certain P. McCartney was very annoyed at that because he wanted to have it because it became one of their international hits selling millions and millions of copies. It's called No Matter What. And it's wonderful. It's got a lovely sort of lick to it. It's got lovely harmonies. Uh, it's in A major. Oh, damn it. It's in A major, but don't worry about it. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice, nice rocking tune. So I'm going to get the organ rocking up here again. This is a... This is a big Riga organ, so it's more sort of in your face. And it's got a nice sparkling, but warm sound. I like it. It should fit to this. Let's find out. Uh, medium rock. Yeah, that's about the speed we want. One, two, three.
we have to put a cha 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 at the end of that. Yes, I, I, I yeah, forgotten about is the wrong phrase. I'd, 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 I'd. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd forgotten to remember <laughs> that that music was out there. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff indeed. That really is wonderful stuff. Mal Evans, there you are. Yes, I got it right. Ha, I remember all this. The lawyers made a fortune. Wrong. Nobody made a fortune. That's the weird thing. That really is the weird thing about the Apple Music split up. Nobody made any money out of it. Everybody lost. Everybody lost because they were... It was such a mess. It was such an absolute mess. The lawyers didn't make very much at all. Um, it, it was awful. It really was an awful mess. Um, the anecdotes surrounding the whole sort of end of the Beatles and the split up of the Beatles and the end of all the business dealings with each other and then they all started suing each other and all that sort of stuff. Um, everyone blames it. Everyone blames it on John's choice of partner later in the 60s a certain Japanese lady and that's actually not true at all that's absolutely not true at all she was she was the scapegoat she was quite happy to be you know put th thrown into the public line like as the one who'd basically split up the Beatles that's not true at all absolutely not true in any way everybody loved Yoko everybody did she was weird but everybody loved her um, and they were quite happy to sort of use her as the, as the public face of the split up because the actual split up was quite simply that George Harrison could not be in the same room as Paul McCartney. He just could not stand him anymore. And George, George, George left the Beatles many, many times and was only called back because John and Ringo uh, got, them, got him back. Uh, George couldn't stand the sight of Paul McCartney. And, uh, <laughs> And it, well, horrible, horrible stories uh, ensued, and it was just, it was awful. It was awful, 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 awful. <sighs> An absolute awful, awful things. And even later, even later on in life, you know, towards the end of George Harrison's life, um, they made public appearances together, the two of them, but they, well, I'm not sure if Paul shared the same sentiments, but George could not stand the sight of Paul McCartney at all and um and you know there are all sorts of stories surrounding george harrison's death allegedly he died in paul mccartney's house he didn't <laughs> it's, it's all rubbish it's all rubbish but it sounds good and the media loved it because it's oh the beatles they were always good friends they were always together rubbish everyone you know even even ringo and george who, who were brilliant friends they loved each other right up to the very end before george died they were great friends but but george would quite happily sue ringo for any reason whatsoever um um <laughs> just uh <sighs> yeah, copyright, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I should start suing people for copyright. That'd be good fun. Anyway, 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 anyway. Yes, anyway, moving on. Yes, we're supposed to be celebrating the birthday of my daughter. She's one year old today. Oh my goodness me! That it's been quite a year. That is, you know, that has been absolutely amazing. Um, Gerald. Gerald requested something from Frozen, so. Why not play something from Frozen? This is actually one. Of, it, it's a lovely piece of music on its own. It's a wonderful standalone piece of music. Whether it's from the film Frozen or just as a standalone piece of music, it's rather wonderful music. Music and lyrics by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. There you are. Um, excuse me. The instructions here are also mysterious. It says mysterious. So, can I get the organ to sound? mysterious boy oh, excuse me um every time we go and have dinner at vanessa's parents oh, oh. It, anyway never mind <clears throat> let it go <laughs> I, i'll be doing that later uh, let it go from disney's frozen
That wasn't the right version of that, was it? But yeah, nonetheless, that's fun. There's, a, there's that crazy middle bit where it goes, yum, bum, 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 be. It's This is all wrong. This is all wrong. This is what I get for just looking at music that somebody sent me at some point and then not thinking about it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much all there. Otherwise, there's, a, there's an instruction there. It said, gaining confidence. <laughs> <laughs> gaining confidence yeah gaining confidence ah, there's another version of it there oh my god that looks even worse right that's definitely from Muse score which is just awful awful <laughs> now my little baby daughter who loves her music she adores music she loves music where did she get that from I wonder where does she get that from I wonder ladies and gentlemen how are we doing here let me just double check any, any, no, nothing else. Right, the last one was our friend. Who was the last one? The last one was our friend, Gleisvandra, for his little, little donation towards the little one. Thank you very much indeed. There we are, that was the last one. So that's that. Just change a note here and there. Yeah, I sort of did. Um, however, this one, this is one even I know. <laughs> Um, and this is one of the Disney's from, it's not one of the old Disney's, it's one of the older Disney's. And it's just, it's good fun. This is one of the happy-go-lucky Disney ones. These, you know, the ones I love. The ones that we should have. And I think this is good fun. It's in, for Phil, it's in the key of uh, B-flat. Which is rather cute. It's Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. And I love this. Now, why am I playing this one? Why did I decide to play this one? My little baby daughter, she has got the most amazing sense of rhythm. She's only one year old. Now, we got our little piano for her Christmas. And she's now, she's using, well, she's using her thumb and her index finger on both hands to go, to do this. I'm not joking. This is the way she does it. And then she turns and looks at me. And I say, wow, amazing. And then she takes her right hand and goes. And she does that. When she plays her thumb, she always plays two. <laughs> yeah, her, her left hand is stronger than her right hand. And then I, she looks at me and I say, yeah, wonderful. And then she goes back and then I have to play something. So I make up a rhythm. I sort of. So it's a, quite a complicated rhythm. And she goes. And she knows exactly when the beat is coming. She's amazing. And the more sort of Latin American I make it sound, the more fun she has. And then she gets really into the rhythm. And then she starts improvising around on a little melody. I'm not joking. It's unbelievable. And the other day we were improvising around on something and it made me think of this.
more like it. That really is more like it. That's what fun music is all about. Years ago when I took up music, I always wanted to have fun. Fun music, even sad music can be played in a fun way. Or you can have fun while you're playing it. Sorry, that's probably a better way of putting it. You can have fun while you're playing it. And it takes me back to something I said many, many times before, and I will keep saying it all the time, quite simply because so many people are guilty of getting it wrong. Um, <laughs> so many people are guilty of getting it wrong. And in this horrendous day and age in which we live, where nobody is willing to take risks anymore for reasons of I don't know what, people are scared of everything these days. They're scared of their own shadow. And nobody wants to take any risks. So when people are playing music, they don't want to take risks anymore. They don't want to uh, try something. They don't want to do anything exciting. And it's so boring, ladies and gentlemen. It's so disgracefully boring. There are so many, uh, there are so many recordings of stuff out there. And sadly, YouTube is a melting pot for this kind of stuff. There are people out there putting music up on YouTube, and it's just boring beyond belief there's just there's no balls in it at all i've said this many times if you're going to play music in public then play with your balls and i don't care if you're male female animal vegetable or mineral play with your balls ladies and gentlemen it's it's the only way to play music and yes it doesn't matter what you're playing whether you're playing a trio sonata by bach why on earth you'd want to do that i don't know but if, if you're doing that then play it with balls and just play anything with balls. For example, here, let's have a piece of music, anything. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Here's a piece of music that's definitely not what you would imagine should be played with balls, but it can be played with balls, and that's what turns it into a piece of music. A ticket has arrived, ladies and gentlemen, from another present for Joe, from Joe, for our, for our darling daughter. Thank you, Joe. My goodness me, thank you very much indeed. That's two. That's what I, see, fun stuff, and that animated Joe. That's good. Anyone else want to buy two tickets this evening? Anyway, yeah, let's have this. This is one of my favourite um, pieces of music from any of the Disney films ever. And it's not one of the happy ones, although it has a happy twist to it. Um, but it's a very emotional piece of music, and a lot of people really get, you know, emotional when they hear this music. It reminds them of something when they saw the film or something along those lines. And there's a, there's a chord progression in the tune which will always tug at the heartstrings. Um, and I think that has something to do with it. Anyway, it's a wonderful old tune by the Sherman Brothers. It's from the film Mary Poppins, and it's Feed the Birds. I love this one. Now, I know my friend Jerry loves this one. And when, um, when, Aaron, when Aaron and Jerry came to visit, uh, Aaron played Feed the Birds on the organ in Gackenbach. Now, sadly, this was not recorded. Sadly, it wasn't recorded, but um, Ralph, the organist in Gattenbach, um, and myself and Jerry, we got to sit there and enjoy Aaron playing Feed the Birds on the wonderful organ in Gattenbach. And yes, he played it with balls. And yeah, that's the whole point. Everything should be played with uh, full emotion. He said famously, let's try.
is a beautiful piece of music. Um, the harmony change in question. There's something, there's something melancholy about. Stop doing that. I didn't look at it. And then, and then back. There's something. I'm not sure what it is about that. It's just. And it's also, it's not, everyone thinks it's G major, B minor, C. And that's what it feels like, but it's not actually that. It's G major. In that bar, in that bit, sort of, you've got the B minor feel, but it resolves to G again before it goes to C. Yeah, that, it, it's weird. It's weird, but it's wonderful. It's beautiful. One of my favorite tunes of all time. It's lovely. I love that one. I do indeed love that one. Ah, oh, splendid. Oh my goodness, look at the time. It's close to midnight. I've been, I've been having too much fun this evening, ladies and gentlemen, so I think we should have some more fun. <laughs> See if you recognize this one. I'm sure you will. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Ah, oh, wonderful stuff. <laughs> right, let's have one more of these. No, let's not have that. Actually, we could have that. Who recognizes this? <laughs> Who recognized that? Anyone? Who recognized that? <sighs> Who plays that? Who remembers that? The unbirthday song that was called. Again, Alice in Wonderland. Ah. <laughs> what are we going to finish with tonight? I think we need to finish with... <sighs> Well, I'm not sure actually. Well, no, let's have a quick check. You never know. Someone may have sent something. Mm, no, nope. nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. You never know because sometimes there's the little. That would do. That would do. No, that wouldn't do. That's a bit. I think we have to finish with this. <laughs> I think we have to finish with this, ladies and gentlemen. It's gone midnight. It's gone a very unhappy birthday. No, just the unbirthday. There you are. Alice, Alison Wonder, who's Alison Wonderland? Hello, my name's Alison Wonderland. <laughs> Ladies and 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been good fun tonight. Um, it's, it has been good fun. Now, on Sunday, do join us on Sunday for the final stream of the month. Now, normally the final stream of the month is always going to be sort of hymns from around the world. Now, there will be some Easter hymns from around the world. Joyful Easter Tide for jazz, for example, and a few others. Um, but I'm also going to play some uh, big, heavy, exciting Easter style, happy, happy, hallelujah um, music here at the organ. There will be lots of wonderful stuff. And I will play my favorite piece of music by Monsieur Longlet. Teo gratias. I will play that because I love playing it. It's wonderful. Um, the ending is my favorite. <laughs> um, crazy music modern, weird, wonderful, spiky, crazy music, but it's wonderful. Very unlike what I'm about to play here, which is heartwarming, wonderful stuff featuring featuring Mr. Phil Harris and Mr. Louis Prima. It's I Wanna Be Like You who, who, from The Jungle Book, which is an absolutely wonderful tune. And this brings to mind a little conversation I had with Mrs. Garchow not that long ago. Mrs. G was doing something around the house and carrying the little one around with her. And they were listening to music and the little one was having none of it. She was not enjoying the music. She was not enjoying being carried around. She was having a right old gurn. That's a good old Scottish expression for not being in a very good mood. She was in a real old gurn. And she, she, was, she was grumpy as hell, basically. And um, so we switched the music off and I, turned on a piece of music, just a blues, some guy playing saxophone and a real sort of rhythm and blues accompaniment, sort of real, you know, real sort of heavy rhythm and blues accompaniment, and some guy playing. She lit up. She absolutely loved it. She went crazy. She went bananas. So then Vanessa had to dance around the house with the little one dancing to blues music. So this is absolutely wonderful. She loves old jazz and blues. Now, where the hell did she get that from, ladies and gentlemen? I want to be like you. Well, maybe she will be like me one day. Who knows? Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very wonderful. We love you all. Thank you for helping us celebrate our birthdays this week, Vanessa's on Wednesdays and the Bundle of Joys today's. So thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you also for your generous tickets and donations over the last couple of days as well. I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday night for some more classical music for a change. Do join us. Mm -hmm.